Hey, hey, what? Ray Mac, hey, what? Hey, what? Welcome to Ray Max Kitchen and Grill. Love and not hate. Love and not hate. Welcome to Ray Max Kitchen and Grill. Love and not hate. What, what, what? Love and not hate. Come on. Welcome to Ray Max Kitchen and Grill. Hey, YouTube family, what's up? This your boy Ray Mac. Today we're going to do us some mini smash burgers, okay? So I got a pound, two pounds and a half of ground beef. And in this packet, I got some beefy Lipton onion soup mix. And then I'm going to add in some black pepper. This is all I want to use. I got some Lipton onion soup mix, the beefy kind. And I got some black pepper. And I'm using two and a half pounds of ground beef. Now, we're not going to use all of this beef for our smash burgers. So I want to use exactly what I'm going to use for the burgers and I'm going to set the rest of the ground beef aside and use it for later uses. All right, but if you give this recipe a try, I guarantee you, you will love it. How many of you out there use Lipton onion soup mix to mix in your hamburger meat? Comment below. So I'm using my cast iron skillet and I also put in a teaspoon of butter, a tablespoon of butter, and what I want to do now at this particular point in time, I got some buns that I want to go ahead and toast up. So I'm using these brioche mini buns and it comes about 12 in a pack. So I'm only going to use six of these. And I took the bottom, had to split these in half. So now what I want to do is brown the tops of these buns first. Okay, it's going to be three for me and three for my wife. And we're going to be full off of these, y'all, I'm telling you. So now this is how I like browning my buns on the skillet. Yes. All right. So now our buns are brown. And you can look, they're looking golden, all right? Mm, looking golden and toasty indeed. Now I want to go ahead and do, do mm, I want to do the exact same thing on the bottom buns. I want to toast these days. Now what I'm going to do since the buns are now brown, we're going to take a half an onion and chop it and I just want to brown these onions just a little bit. Alright, I'm only going to cook these for at least around about a good um, two to three minutes and that's it and I'm going to, going to take them out of the skillet. Since our onions are now prepared and set to the side, I just want to take our hamburgers and I'm only using one hand just to make some hamburger balls and all you have to do is just judge it by look if you like, alright, because they're going to be little mini smash burgers. If you want to use a scale, you could definitely use a scale to try to weigh them out or whatever the case may be, but hey, just go ahead and use your, your, your hands and your eyeballs, that'll work even best. So now what I'm doing now is I'm taking the one little ball patty meatball patty and I'm smashing it into this here hot skillet I got the skillet on medium high heat and I'm using a, I'm putting about three um, hamburger balls on this here skillet and I'm smashing them that's all you have to do is find you a couple of spatulas or whatever the case may be some people even use plates I've heard but I haven't seen it but some people use plates to smash their burgers so whatever you could use to smash your burger down and go ahead and use it you don't have to add any seasonings to these patties because that Lipton onion soup mix, the beefy Lipton onion soup mix with that pepper did its job. So all we want to do is just smash and brown on both sides.
Now with our burgers prepared or whatever the case may be, I want to slice on a, put on a couple of slices of cheese. This is just your plain Jane American cheese. I want that cheese to melt. Now I just want to go ahead and take these burgers and split them apart. If you want to keep your um, buns whole, be my guest. They're your sliders. You can do it, do with them as you like. You can make you some special um, burger sauce for these if you like. But I want to keep these plain Jane. So with that onion, I'm just spreading that onion all around on the bottom buns. All over the bottom brioche mini buns. Because I just love some onions on my burgers, y'all. I'm telling you. And you'll definitely love the onions on these here smash um, mini burgers. Trust and believe me. Now I'm placing the patties right on top. So the first three that I'm building here is for my wife. So I'm going to go ahead and prepare these for her because she just like hers with the um, ketchup on the side and nothing else or whatever the case may be. Yep, she's plain Jane. That's just how she rolls. But I like mine, man. I want double patties on mine. So I'm going to have one that's going to be a single and the other two is going to be doubles. As you can see, I'm putting double meat on mine. We got manly slider, slider burgers right here. We ain't got no wimp little slotted burgers. I'm, I'm, I'm just saying slider burgers. But anyway, I'm preparing her three right now, getting hers out of the way. So let me go ahead and plate hers up. With my burgers, I just squirt on some ketchup and some mustard. That's about it. If you guys like going to, how can I say, White Castles or something like that for their burgers, try this. I guarantee you they are better than White Castles little burgers. I ain't joking, y'all. I stand behind this. No, I'm just joking with y'all, for real, for real. But they are good, y'all. I'm telling you, that, that you will love it. I loved it. And I do it again, many times over. This is some good eats right here, y'all. I'm telling you the honest God truth. And as you can see how these burgers is looking with that onion and that cheese and that ketchup and that mustard. And I'm telling you with that lifted onion soup mix along with that pepper, it did this some justice. And these buns are toasted. Oh my God, every bite that I took remind me of heaven. I believe I'm in heaven. You'll be in heaven too if you ate this burger, y'all. Give this thing a try. Trust me, you will love it. Your kids will love it. Your husband will love it. Your wife will love it. If you ain't married, your boyfriend, girlfriend will love it. Whoever will love it. If y'all watching the, um, the, the sports on television or whatever the case may be and you want a nice little snack, try this right here. Try this. I guarantee you're going to love it. I ain't joking with y'all. But let me just say thank y'all so much for watching Ray Matt's Kitchen and Grill. Whatever y'all do, man, please do me a favor because I am a beggar. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Give this video a thumbs up. Comment below and tell me exactly what you think about this video. Will you give this recipe a try? I'm hoping that you'll give this recipe a try. And if you had to prepare a slider burger, what condiments would you add to your slider burger? Because I want to make your slider burger. Tell me and comment below so I can create your burger and put your name on it. All right. I love you guys. I always say this at the end of all of my videos. But before I say anything else, do me a favor. Watch these videos right here. And if you could, hit that photo where you see my beautiful face at. Click on it and subscribe to my YouTube channel. All right? I love you guys. Love and not hate. Love somebody and hate nobody.